rainbows. This book is called Wonders of Nature and it's about rainbows. So I don't know if you guys had a question about why you see all those colors in the sky, but maybe this book will help us answer that. You can make one on the next sunny day, spray the garden hose, and you'll see a rainbow in the water. Yeah, it's with the sun. You might see a rainbow in a spray from a fast boat, and you might see a rainbow in a fountain. So have you ever seen a fountain of water that's spraying up, and sometimes you can see a rainbow in there. You might see a rainbow in a waterfall. Wouldn't that be pretty? Yeah. Simon, he's in the story place. You can you can share these stories with us when we do our crafts. How about that? Because I'm I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Uh, A rainbow needs light and water to form. We see rainbows when the sun and rain are in the sky at the same time. The sun shines through the raindrops to make the rainbow. Oh, so the sun shines. On your shirt. I do. <laughs> the best time to see a rainbow is late in the day in the summer. So that's the best time to look, guys. Uh, near the end of a rainstorm, the sun may start to come out, stand outside so that the sun is behind you and the rain is in front of you. You might be able to spot a rainbow in the sky. The rainbow got its name because it's shaped like a bow of a bow and arrow. So it's shaped like a bow like this. Long ago, some people thought it was a bridge or a path from the earth to the sky. You could kind of imagine that. It seems like it would know, be, doesn't it? You know, a leprechaun can slide on it. <laughs> That's what I thought. A rainbow looks curved to people on the ground. That's because a rainbow is part of a circle. This part was really surprising to me. If you were in an airplane, the rainbow might be a full circle. You will be uh, you would be at the at the point in the middle. So if you're in an airplane, you can see that the rainbow is a full circle. We only see part of it from the earth. Hmm. Isn't that neat? I, I did not know that. Uh, someone's taking that picture. Uh, light is always traveling from the sun to the earth. Light does not seem to have a color, but light is really made up of lots of colors. You can see all of the light's colors with a prism. A prism is a, is a clear block with three sides. Prisms are made of plastic or glass. Have you seen one of these? I thought I might have one at home, but I didn't. I didn't see one of those. Yeah, you can find prisms, look for them. They're like glass or plastic, and they'll have rainbows. So, sunlight goes through the prism, and the prism bends the light. It breaks the light into all of its colors. So the sunlight goes through, and then it bends all the light, and then it breaks it into all the colors that you see. The colors in the sunlight are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Yep, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And that's how the rainbow is. Ooh, cool. Yeah. yeah. A raindrop blends light like a prism. The sunlight goes into the round raindrop, then it bounces off the back of the raindrop and it becomes divided into all of its colors. So that's why you see it when the light goes through the raindrop, it, it, it divides all the colors and that's why you actually see all those colors in the rainbow. The colors in a rainbow are always the same. Red is always on the top curve of the rainbow. Violet is always on the bottom. So when you see it, you're always going to see it in these color orders. Okay. Sunlight shines through millions of raindrops in the sky. Each drop breaks the light into the rainbow colors. Millions of drops together make the rainbow you can see. So all of the light shining through all those millions of raindrops, that's how you get all those colors. When the rain ends, the rainbow starts to fade away. Then you have a clear, sunny sky. Cool. Yes. So the first thing we're going to add is honey. Now we're going to add it into the very, very center.
center. We don't want, don't, yeah, you can help me. Don't touch the sides. That's real important not to touch the sides of the jar, guys. Uh, you like honey? Honey's good, right? Yeah. Yeah, you, you can make a rainbow jar. We're only two people at a time can do it right now. Okay, okay that's good. Okay, lift this one up. Okay, and then we're going to add in. This is corn syrup. Okay. And um, this one, we're going to add in some purple. So, just a couple drops. Okay. No, no, in here. Corn syrup. Yep. You got another purple. So, you want to add a couple drops of purple? You need this. Okay, a couple drops. This is the corn syrup. That's good, that's good. Okay, now, stir this one. So, you stir can do one more. Okay, there you go. You want to stir it up. Okay, keep stirring it so you get it all stirred up. Okay, good job. Okay, now, this is really important. We don't want to get on the sides. So this one's trickier to pour, so I'm going to help a little bit with this one. Because this is super sticky. Okay. So, I'll help you out as well. Good job. So pour this one right in the middle again. Okay. And then decide, maybe you can help me decide why. Are you trying to go on the Are you going to go right down the center? Well, that's good. Are you trying to make it? Yes. So the purple is going to sit right on top of the honey, and that's because uh, the corn syrup is, the honey is heavier than the corn syrup. Yep. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna. Should I get spoons? I don't know. So this one's the sticky one, okay? All right, so we've got, you'll get your purple layer. You can see my purple layer kind of blends in, but that's okay. And then the next step is soap, okay? Pour it right in the middle, okay? Check. Right in ready, the middle. Ready to do this? I'll help you out. Okay. I'll pour it right down the seam so it doesn't touch the sides. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Green. Okay. This is actually blue. It'll separate, so it's the same thing I use. You'll see the blue there too. Okay. So you've got. So you can see in your light, you've got your the honey, and then your purple layer, and then your blue. Okay. So the green layer is water, and that one will um probably add more. So I'll let, we'll do one whole one, and then there's two. You can, yeah, yeah. We just opened them today, so. Okay, got that? Okay, why don't you put a drop of green in, and you guys put a drop of green in. No, no, in here? No, 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 here. Sorry. Okay, and then let them put a drop in, and then you guys are going to need to stay Okay, good. Okay. Now, stir. That one, I, we don't have to use that one. It's like that. It replaces this? Or? Yeah, we'd have it. it I'll talk. Okay, so now we've got to pour the green in. Okay, so I'll help with this. And there's one in there. We're going to pour this in. 
Make a nice pretty green layer. Does that look pretty? Good. Yeah, put a little, made a little too much water, but it's fine. So, now we got some olive oil. Don't stir it up. Yeah, but don't stir it. You want to help me pour? Hey, right in the middle, right again. Okay. Okay. Now pour yellow in the middle. Right in the middle. Don't go to the sides. <laughs> Very important. Okay. okay. Now. Should I put their names on these things? Since sure. They got, yeah. That's a good idea, Mary. Let's find something to put your name on. Okay, now you guys will need to add red. And mix it. Okay, so you guys add a drop of red and then you add a drop of red. And we'll get a new mixer too, so we don't mix our colors. Okay, and then the food coloring is heavier than the alcohol, so you'll notice the food color doesn't, you'll have it kind of settles at the bottom at first. Is that what makes the red and the orange color? Yes, this one will kind of yellow. Yeah, and, and this kind of blends together. This one is the trickiest one to add in because unlike going in the center, this one we're going to do on the sides. Okay, so we're going to try filling this up with our red. Do you want to? Big one. Wide a little bit. Just right in the center. So this one you go on the side. Well, you go on the side. I'll put on the center now, too. No. Okay. So always okay. on the side. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. I spilled some. That's okay. Okay, I got paper towels. Okay, this one go on the side. So. I pretty much just did it on one side. Okay, we're going. <laughs> it's uh, this one is like kind of starts mixing. Okay, yep, there you go. So here's your rainbow in a jar. There you go. Okay, so Looks pretty cool, right? Put it up in the light. Don't shake it. Isn't that neat?